a beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today, we got all the news that you need to know. The news actually dropped two hours early, which is super weird, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in. All right, guys, probably the biggest news of all, before anything, fucking Endwalker is coming out this Friday. And if I disappear off the face of the earth, you guys all know I'm okay. Uh, but if you do want me to stream Endwalker, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just so that I have, you know, kind of a good a good pulse if that's something you guys are all interested in. Uh, of course, we knew that Aranea is coming out today. Uh, we'll go ahead and cover Aranea later. Um, and we'll cover the collaborative quests. Let's go ahead and get to the news that is um, pretty cool and pretty interesting first. Uh, and that's going to be uh, the Guild Chamber updates is a pretty big deal. Uh, so the Guild Chamber professional drop rate update will adjust it so that when you do do the professional chamber, you are guaranteed to get one large gill snapper and you're guaranteed to get one XL gill snapper as well. This is huge. Uh, this is... You know, this is going to be much more gill in your pocket. And it's just, you know, it's the way to go. And kind of on top of all of this, uh, they changed the mission because currently it was like clear a certain amount of gill chamber missions. And now it's acquire a certain amount of gill snappers. Uh, definitely a lot different. Definitely better, I imagine, because. Personally, I couldn't clear the guild chamber the amount of times that it wanted me to clear it because you had to do it like a thousand times or something ridiculous uh, to get all the missions. So I'm very happy that they changed this. Uh, we also have a uh, secret book reward quest going on. Uh, Edgery training quest is going to be making a return. Uh, Drake's horn and cat's claws. You're not going to want to farm either of these weapons. Uh, neither of them are going to be an optimal spear uh, nor a optimal hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Uh, we also have the Admiral Prince returning, um, which will have Golden Axe and Golden Sword. You may want to hold off on farming Golden Axe uh, because you we do have Summer Kill Phase Axe potentially coming out in the near future. Uh, but if you do have Summer Kill Phase, you may want to farm one uh, right now, like if you don't have an axe for her. Uh, and Golden Sword is still viable to this day on a lot of two-handed units. So uh, if you don't have that, if you're a newer player, make sure you grind that out. Uh, the big thing coming this week, though, I thought it was actually going to be a pretty dead week, uh, but it turns out Raid Boss Revival is coming out this week. And holy cow, the first Raid Boss Revival was a lot of fun. Uh, I love trying to figure out different solo compositions, uh, different builds for the Raid Boss Revivals, and this one looks like it's even better because they are giving you the opportunity to get the espers and the vision cards from previous raids that you have not gotten yet. Um, so this would be Kraken, which can actually be considered probably the best in slot water esper for a lot of units. Um, along with that, the Kraken vision card, uh, the Chimera vision card and the Chimera esper. I'm um, really great for any of your dark units. Uh, you can get Tranquil Warmth, which is not the best vision card in the game, but it's there. It's free, right? Uh, and then you get Luminous Serpent, White Dragon, which of course the White Dragon Esper has one of the higher magic rates. So he's going to be very good for units that focus on healing. Uh, so all of these you're going to be able to get through the Raid Boss Revival Rerun. Um, you're basically going to be able to, I believe, exchange tokens for it. And their respective missions are going to come back as well. Uh, in addition to all this, we're going to have basically four bosses to kind of farm these tokens from. Uh, the four bosses are going to be Two-Headed Dragon, Siren, Golem, and Diablos. Now, if you weren't here for the first raid boss revival, uh, these are not standard raids. These are multi-encounters. Uh, so you can only farm these missions in multi-rooms. Um, and you kind of can choose two between two different difficulties uh, of which one you want to farm. And they're pretty difficult, I would say. Uh, you're going to need some friends. Some people will be able to solo them uh, with specific units. Um, but even then, they're not going to be, be able to solo the highest difficulty uh, unless you are probably exceptionally lucky or you have an exceptionally good unit. Uh, so the enemies are going to be Two-Headed Dragon, which is going to be a light-based uh, unit that is weak to Pierce Attack. Uh, so, of course, Dark Pierce units are going to be really good. <coughs> uh, Siren is going to be a Water unit, uh, weak to Missile Attack. So Lightning Missile is going to be pretty good. 
Um, <laughs> Golem is going to be an earth-based unit. Um, so weak to magic and wind units. So, of course, we have little Leela that just came out. She might be able to solo. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to experiment. And then Diablos, who is a dark unit, weak to slash attack. So uh, light element slash attack. That's going to be Elena um, and other light slashing units. Uh, should be able to at least take on um, a kind of broad swath of those difficulties. Um, scrolling down, you can also get other good rewards like Blossoms of Paradise. And there is a lot of crafting recipes that are available. Um, going down the list, kind of the notable ones, a diamond coat is going to be available. So for those of you that want to build another diamond coat or a third diamond coat, uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for you. Um, for newer players, uh, White Marshmallow Miniature is going to be really good for status element resistances. Um, you have Galmia Cloak for plus magic, which will be really good. Uh, you also have things like Purple Lightning if you're planning on running Laswell. Platinum Helmet, Platinum Robe, Alexandrite Ring, uh, Soul of Thalmassa for silence, resistance, and plus magic. Uh, my goal will be to farm a second Soul of Thalmassa uh, so that I can have two mages with silence resistance. Uh, so tons to farm here. Uh, this is going to be a really busy week. And on top of all of this, you are going to have unlimited gill snapper farming. Uh, so you're going to be able to farm unlimited gill snappers. You're going to be able to farm raid boss revival. And then if you do get these vision cards, if you do get these espers, you also have the high difficulty enhancement quests. Uh, now, important to note here, the high difficulty enhancement quests are listed as December 1st through December 21st. So you might not have to do the high difficulty quests immediately that week. Uh, you may be able to wait a week in order to do it. So uh, make sure you check it when the quest does go live to make sure uh, that you do have time to complete it. Um, the actual uh, Raid Boss Revival event, um, it says it's gonna go from 12.1 to 12.4. Uh, and then the metal shop is gonna be from 12.1 to 12.21. So uh, it'll be, it's gonna be a pretty long event, actually. It'll be like a two week event, it looks like, uh, which should be pretty good. It's gonna give you a lot of time to farm, a lot of time to get things done. Of course, uh, we do have Trials of Reckoning coming out next week. So if you are gonna be farming Raid Boss Revival and you wanna farm Trials of Reckoning, make sure that you do the Raid Boss Revival this week. Um, because you're gonna have to prep for trials of reckoning next week other things we got going on this week we do have a winter 2021 login bonus um this is of course going to be pretty lackluster um we're gonna get a double drop on vision card hard quest friend gift campaigns tripled arena campaigns uh five times the arena medals so very good for arena this week uh, free match campaign five times the amount of PvP medals. Uh, this is the week that if you're a newer player, I love to farm for potentially Hermes sandals or anything like that you might need there. Uh, you know, this and class match are kind of the two ways that you can easily get uh, free match campaign medals. So I would recommend that. Unlimited gill snapper all week. Again, that's if you're not already going to be grinding a whole bunch of stuff. Um, gosh. Item drop double up campaign, of course, for ice because RNA is coming out. Um, we do have a 2,500 Vizior login bonus um, with two free tickets for summoning Aranea involved. Um, so a lot of people happy about the 2,500 Viz. Uh, we do have Aranea's Stow Spear coming out um, and you'll be able to farm the Stow Spear. A lot of people asking me uh, what I think about the Stow Spear and whether it's gonna be the best in slot. And the answer is it is not going to be the best in slot. Um, the best in slot spear for Aranea is going to be Ice Lance. You can buy an Ice Lance right now for 2K Vizior in the shop. If you are going to be, you know, rolling for Aranea, if you're going to get her, get the Ice Lance in the shop right now. Don't farm the Stow Spear, get the Ice Lance. Now, if you have a spear base unit and you don't have cane spear, right? Um, and you don't have, they can't equip the ice spear, they can't equip the elemental spear, which has the earth attack up. They can't equip Nines' spear, which has the lightning attack up. Then the stow spear is probably best in slot, but I would not go crazy for the stow spear. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like a make one and be done. Um, most players are already going to have a better spear for the majority of their spear units. 
Finally, we do have Aranea coming out. Uh, no information on any GL buffs. I was kind of hoping that we might get some GL buffs um, with her. I think she, you know, is pretty good, but not the best unit in the world. Uh, I'm personally excited for her. I will pull for her, uh, but I wonder what kind of her duration and lifespan as a unit is going to be. Um, whether she's going to meet kind of a dismal end, very similar to Barret from Final Fantasy VII, or even Aerith, where Aerith is never used. Like, I never see Aerith. I never see Barret. Uh, so, kind of wondering kind of what her lifespan is here. Uh, she gets all the respective challenge missions. She gets JP bonus, her EX job, and she will be added to the Final Fantasy XV uh, quest. So, lots going on this week. Uh, definitely not the dead week we all expected. And I'm going to have to grind my ass off because Endwalker is coming out now in five days. And I got to get all this done before Endwalker comes out. So, uh, <laughs> Whoa. all right, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys are having a great, I guess this is probably going to come out Sunday night. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday night. Um, I am going to go enjoy the rest of my day. And I am going to kind of be prepping for Endwalker. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody, and have a good day.